Bells are one of the oldest musical instruments. However, the sound they produce isn't music in its common sense. This is not music. This is a heavenly music. The bells sound is something special. It is more spiritual, an absolutely different music. This is not music. This is a spiritual sound. This is how things are arranged by God. Russian bells were set up not by musical notes, but by the quality of a voice. It all lies in the understanding of the bell sound, which is thought of as a call to a church service. It must be loud and beautiful aesthetically. It was the 17th century when the large bell's ringing technique changed. Before that, the bells were moved and beat with a tongue which remained still. From the middle of the 17th century, ringers began to move the bell's tongue, which beat the edges of the bell. The artful ringing common in Russian nowadays began right at that time. And a bell became not simply a signal for a service, but a part of the Russian culture and even a part of art. The peculiarity of Russian bells includes not only a rhythm, rhythmic patterns and intertwining, but also melodic intonation, which in one way or another appears when ringing includes a bell of a medium size. In the 20th century, most Russian bells were dismantled and melted. The kneel of monastery bells were also dismantled, but instead of being melted, the bells were shipped to Harvard University, where the bells stayed up until 2008, when after long talks they were brought back to the monastery. I remember an impression people from Harvard had that bells were treated in Russia like people, that their tongues might have been torn out or bells might have been exiled. Bells were even shot. The Oglich bell was exiled to Siberia after its sound informed about the death of Tsarevich Dmitri, a possible heir to Boris Godunov. When the Danilov Monastery delegation arrived in Harvard for talks on returning the bells, there was tension between the sides. Later, when the Danilov delegation ran the bells on Harvard's bell tower, it began snowing as a Russian winter came to Boston. The snow blocked the chimneys, causing a fire alarm to switch on. This scene dissipated the tension. It was a step out of reality, firefighters at dinner and Russian snowdrifts in the streets of Boston. I know that some people can exaggerate. On the other hand, bells have not been studied fully yet, especially Russian bells. People believe that sound of bells has miraculous powers and may help to fight against diseases. Some people stand under a bell and are somehow spiritually cleansed. The sound of the bells can be heard for kilometers around. When Russia was hit by a plague, bells were rung and people recovered. Even the air is cleansed. I know that some people can exaggerate. On the other hand, bells have not been studied fully yet, especially Russian bells.